guys and gals, me Mudahar, and whoo, boy oh boy, the FBI has finally acted upon getting screwed for the millionth time. Now ladies and gentlemen, if it's one organization you don't want to piss around with, it's Uncle Sam, okay? Especially the many alphabet agencies that Uncle Sam has working for him. A lot of those agencies include the CIA, the DEA, but more importantly, the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Now, if you start prostate examining the FBI a fair bit, chances are they're probably going to come right back, except this time they're not going to stick the finger in, you know, whittle it around, they're just going to straight up jam the whole fist up you. Now, of course, why am I coming at you with such colorful analogies? Well, today's video is going to start off with a little bit of a story time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you remember something known as raid forums, uh, right here, but if we zoom out a little bit, the domain has been seized by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the United States Secret Service, and the Department of Justice. Now, for anybody who doesn't know what this was, Raid Forums is effectively one of the largest darknet internet sort of uh, forums for sharing, you know, breach databases. Have you ever wondered, how are these guys getting my addresses? How are these guys getting my passwords? Well, it's mostly because sometimes you might have registered using the same password to a less than reputable site when it came to security. That site got hacked, the database got leaked, and all of a sudden it ended up on a forum like this. Hundreds of gigabytes of data floats around on the internet every day containing your personal information, and it's being sold for pennies on the dollar when it comes to these marketplaces. Now, this one in particular got shut down. But see, whenever it comes to illegal services, shutting one illegal service down only creates like 10 or 15 others. Now, while there's a lot of services that are honeypots, meaning that the Federal Bureau is literally running illegal operations, just so they can trap you right into their services, just like that exists, there's plenty of legitimate services that are actually causing problems for the FBI. Now, in the last 12 months, I made plenty of videos regarding very, very severe data breaches. Some of them have been actual hacks against the FBI. And a lot of them have originated at forums known as breached forums. Now, for those of you who don't know what breached forums is, it's sort of like the successor to RAID, and it's where a lot of database breaches kind of end up on for sale. So whether it be the marshals, whether it be the FBI, whether it be the Chinese government, whether it be some, you know, uh, TV station, a lot of those places end up right at breached. One of the most popular, if not the most popular dark web forum. So why am I talking about it? Well, it seems as though the person behind it, Pom Pom Purin, who's not just a Hello Kitty character, appears to be the person behind it, the brains on the operation, has actually been arrested literally yesterday or a couple days ago by the FBI in New York. So of course, ladies and gentlemen, this actually marks a pretty pivotal day. Now, to understand why this got kicked up into high gear, if you don't remember way back in the day, uh, a few months ago when the FBI's InfraGuard system got hacked, it was actually a moment of big shame. The FBI was investigating it, and realistically, all roads kind of pointed to this one user on this Breach Forum's website. Now, alongside a few other hacks, which we'll be getting into, obviously this person became sort of a cancerous thorn on the Federal Bureau side. Enough for them to investigate, act upon, and bust the person behind it. Allegedly, of course, we still gotta wait for trials and courts and all the fun stuff of the legal system to kick in before this person's gonna have their rectum or yay resized in a federal penitentiary. Now, some of the hacks that our buddy Pom Pom Purin was behind. Uh, also, we do not support any illicit use of computers or video hacking or, or network hacking, network intrusions. I figured I might as well just say this before the TOS guideline strike kind of kicks in. One of the best hacks, one of the uh, epic ones, was when Pom Pom Porin hacked Robin Hood. As you all heard it already, as you all should already assume, Robin Hood lied. And of course, this was during that GameStop GME era where like retail traders were going up against hedge fund managers. Not all of that was taken. IDs were also downloaded from Send Safely. You can either contact me via Wicker or Telegram. No lowball offers. So here it is, the individual selling it. This data set for around five figures. Okay, that's the minimum right there, ladies and gentlemen. Don't message me if you're going to offer less. I've gotten quite a lot of messages. This is highly profitable if it's in the right hands. So, of course, this is an actual legitimate hacker doing actual hacks for realsies. 
But when they're not hacking Robinhood, the more important aspect is when they were hacking the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Now, when we're not looking at the InfraGuard hack that I covered from like months ago, we're gonna look at a hack that happened all the way back, ladies and gentlemen, in uh, 2021. Now, this is a hack where the, the people behind this actually abused an exploit in the FBI's web pages and servers to send spam emails with their actual address. You know what, I'm always like, hey guys, make sure when you're getting emails sent to you that they come from the actual address. So, you know, every time somebody tells you your Amazon subscription dried up, please click here to, 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 to fix your Prime membership. And it turns out the email address is like Amazon ad shopping beauty center, like middle of nowhere, bumfuck China dot, you know, CN. That's obviously not from Amazon. That's from a hacker. In this case, they actually managed to use the ic.fbi.gov domain and send out spam messages. So for instance, right over here, ladies and gentlemen, if you look carefully, you'll notice that some of the messages were rather easy to figure out. Some of the messages you could tell was really, really easy to figure out. So for instance, it came from eims.ic.fbi.gov. The way that they ended up abusing it, pom pom porn allegedly, was finding out post requests and basically because it was actually developed client side, they could actually develop a script that they could then use abuse and send whatever email they wanted through the FBI's official email services. Now, of course, if you're wondering what kind of emails were they sending, some of those emails were, hey, sexy. Could you imagine? I would unironically print this out, frame it on the goddamn wall if the FBI domain ever called me sexy, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, this is a scam, but to understand reality kicks in, you could actually use this for some really, really devious purposes. And of course, while Pom Pom Purin definitely broke the law doing this, I think it's also great that he existed just to showcase how embarrassing this flaw existed on people, you know, like the FBI, who are basically the chiefs when it comes to preventing cyber attacks on the country, okay? They're basically supposed to be the top dog. And if they're doing stuff like this, it's just goddamn hilarious. And of course, for those of you who don't remember InfraGuard, InfraGuard was basically the FBI's portal to connect with some of the most integral, critical people and in institutions in the country so they could help spread proper cybersecurity. It's a goddamn shame when even they get infected, or sorry, when they get infiltrated, which was actually what happened when somebody had faked being a prominent CEO just so they could get access into these important systems. Just last week, March 8th, it appears that the US Capitol Police and the DC Health Link had a massive data breach, ladies and gentlemen. DC Health Link suffered a significant data breach yesterday, exposing the personal identifiable information of thousands of enrollees. As a member or employee eligible for health insurance through the DC Health Link, your data may have been compromised. Currently, I don't know the size and scope of the breach, but I've been informed by the FBI that the account information and PII of hundreds of members and house staff were stolen. So of course, these aren't your average people. These are very, very important figures in the country who have had their information stolen and their information thrown up on the internet for sale. How many infra, How many people? 170,000 users, apparently. And if you look at it, you've got their sub ID, member ID, policy ID, first, last name, obviously, SSN, date of birth, gender, relationship, you get it. Everything you wanna know about this person, they've got it. Now, of course, I've never looked through this database, so I can't verify if everything's proper and, and up to date, but uh, obviously it could also just be a fake database. Again, if they're admitting that they got hacked, chances are nine times out of 10, this shit's probably real and it's bad. Now, what really started the freakiness of it is on this forum, the user, Pom Pom Purin, who is basically the person alleged to be behind some of the highest profile hacks and leaks in the last year, had been offline for a little bit. In fact, they hadn't shown up since March 15th. Coincidentally, the same day the feds raided a house in New York. Now, of course, unfortunately, it's been confirmed that, uh, well, I, I, I'm just gonna say it's been confirmed yesterday that Pom Pom Purin had actually been busted. Now, of course, is the website taken down? Obviously not, it's still active, it's still available on the dark net, and it's actually happened where like somebody else, another administrator, has jumped in, the name of Baphomet, who's basically taken it over. As they said, I think it's safe to assume he won't be coming back. 
So I'll be taking ownership of the forum. I have most, if not all, the access necessary to protect BF infrastructure and users. I pretty much assumed the worst at nearly 24 hours of inactivity. That's how bad it is here, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't signed on longer than 24 hours, your administrators and friends will just immediately assume the feds have raided your house and you're gone. It's not often Palm is gone for an extended period of time, and he always let me know ahead of time that it would be the case. He's also never been inactive this long on both Telegram, Element, and Forum at the same time. At that point, I decided to remove his access to all important infrastructure and restricted his forum account. So again, in obviously to counteract current law enforcement, the actual administrators for this darknet marketplace have started to wipe, clear, and make sure their protocols are up to snuff. Security is given to the right accounts to make sure the FBI hasn't tried shutting this down like they did with the raid forums. Now, of course, this can go one of two ways. Pom Pom Purin's arrested, spends the next few years in a federal penitentiary, maybe gets out on good behavior, or, you know, they really sweat the guy and maybe he gives up something and all you can tell in a plea bargain is this site gets taken down. And of course, like all illegal services, even if this website gets taken down, it'll just shift to another illegal dark web marketplace. But of course, it's interesting that you can see in real time how the FBI, after getting fucked with with so much in the last few months, has put the pressure on in their own investigations and are finally going after the people that are responsible for leaking and selling some of the largest databases on the planet. Now, Breach Forum is one of those places that claims to have almost 15 billion records from 888 data sets from numerous different services, sites, and governments. And of course, it's not gonna stop right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is a wild, wild situation. And it's something that I pretty much saw coming anyways. I already had a video planned for this, just in the event that this site gets taken down. But of course, the owner for one of the largest websites when it came to the largest hacker forums has actually allegedly finally been arrested. And of course, going forward, it's going to be a matter of time before we see some of the other people here getting busted. Maybe they won't, maybe they will, but it's interesting to see in real time how this shit all breaks down. Now, of course, given the fact that I'm filming this, we still have 24 hours before Pom Pom Purin actually does see a judge. I believe it's somewhere around 48 hours, like you have to see a judge within then. So we'll just see what's going on. But of course, when it comes to the FBI, the conviction rating is so high for a reason. They probably have all their T's crossed and their I's dotted. And uh, given the fact with some of these high profile data breaches and the fact that the government has been fucked with the most, this person will be made an example of. Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar. And if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am.